Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video of the first chapter of these notes on linear algebra. Um, in this chapter, we'll be talking about vectors. We'll discuss them algebraically. We'll look at them geometrically. We'll define operations on them and products on them, and we'll study those operations and those products. And we will also see how to prove interesting geometric results using these vectors, using these products, using these operations. All right, so before we get to all of these interesting things, we have to start with introducing vectors. So in this video, we'll be talking about basic vectors. The goal of this section is to introduce vectors both algebraically and geometrically. When we talk about vectors, uh, we'll be saying that a vector is an arrow which has, well, two pieces of information. It needs a length and it needs a direction. Vectors do not have a fixed position. They don't live anywhere specific. All right, so let's look at example 1.1.1. Um, we're asked to draw three vectors equal to V. According to the definition, a vector would be the same if it has the same direction and the same length. So instead of starting at the origin, I can start anywhere I want. So let me start over here. Perfect. So this purple arrow has the same length and the same direction as V, so it's V again. This other purple arrow, same length, same direction, same vector. So all of these arrows, the three purple ones and the black one, all have the same length and same direction, so they're all V, just a different representation of it. So you may have seen vectors before, um, especially in physics. In physics, they use it to represent force, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Many of our definitions in this chapter will come from intuition of displacement. In two dimension, we can think of V as a change in position, so a change in X, and a change in y. All right, so together those two pieces of information will tell you your entire displacement. All right, so in the following example, I want to illustrate to you how this idea of thinking of a vector as a displacement, a change of position, how this will tell us how to define the sum of the vectors and two times that vector as well. All right, so first let's look at those two vectors. I have a blue vector V, it's a 2D vector. Um, I want to write it as delta X, delta Y. So I'm going to draw a little box here. And I want you to see that the change in X is, well, I'm going from zero to three here. So I'm moving three units in X. Delta Y would be the change in Y. And so I'm moving from zero to two, so that's a change in two. And so we want to think of V as a vector, a displacement of three in the X direction and two in the Y direction. Let's do the same thing with W. All right, so here's my box for W. Um, the change in X, well, I'm going from zero to minus two here. So my change is minus two. The change in Y, I'm going from zero to minus four. So my Y is changed by minus four. So W is minus two minus four. Notice that the minus in minus two tells you that you're moving left by two, 
and the minus is minus 4 tells you that you're moving down by 4. So the minus gives you the direction, and then the, the absolute value of that minus 2 and minus 4 tells you how much you're actually moving in that direction. All right, in part A, we're asked to figure out what V plus W should mean, and we're asked to draw it. So I'm going to think of it as displacement, and I'm going to be a little person standing at the origin here. V plus W, in my mind, tells me to do the displacement of V, and then to do the displacement of W. So I'm going to start with the displacement of V. So now I'm standing at this little tip here of V. I want to then do the displacement of W. So I'm going to go left 2 and down 4. And so here's W. So after having done those two displacement, I'm at the tip of W, right at that purple dot. So in total, I started at the origin, and I finished at that purple dot. And so that purple vector is the sum of the displacement, so it's the vector V plus W. Now for that vector, if you want to look at the change of x, well, it's going to be the change of x that I got from the blue vector, which was 3, plus the change of x that I got from the red vector. And so I get a change of x of 1. So all I had to do was to add this change of x and this change of x here. If I want the change of y, well, it's how much V's changed my Y value, so 2, and then how much Y has. And so I get minus 2. And so that V plus W, if you want to look at it in terms of coordinates, should be 1 minus 2, the change in x, comma, the change in y. And that's what I got if I added 3 and minus 2 to get the 1, and 2 and minus 4 to get the minus 2. All right, so this idea of displacement tells you exactly how to define v plus w. All right, let's now look at 2v. 2v tells me to do twice the displacement of v, and so here's once, here's twice, so this is v, and this is v. So in total, um, let me put it a bit aside so we can really see it, here's 2v, the vector that goes from the origin to that tip of the second v. So my change in x here would be twice the change in x of v, so that was 3, and so I get 6. And the change in y would be twice the change in y of v, and so I get 4. So this vector 2v should be 6, 4. And that 6, 4 is really just doubling each of the components of this vector v that I had here. 